Hello everyone, I'm Harry and welcome to my channel and today we're going to look at the brand new 68 Custom Pro Reverb from Fender. So before we get started, if you like this demo video at any point, please leave a like, comment and subscribe and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot and that way I won't be sending any of my future uploads. There's going to be affiliate links down in the description to every piece of gear I used in this video and to record my videos. These do help support the channel out further, so I'd really appreciate going to check them out. So as I said in the title, in my opinion, this is the perfect Fender amp for me and for probably for many players in this modern age. It's kind of that perfect wattage, so you've got loads of clean headroom, but it's not super sterile, but it also means that you can turn it up loud at a gig and still be able to keep clean headroom for use with different guitars and pedals. So the 68 Custom Pro Reverb takes its cues from the original 40 watt model but improves in portability by reducing the cabinet size and weight whilst also moving to a single channel format and single 12 inch speaker. The amp comes with an amp cover and the classic Fender two button foot switch for tremolo and reverb. On the front panel we have a bright switch, volume, treble, middle and bass, a reverb control and speed intensity for the tremolo which is a bias tremolo. You got the two inputs that allow you to pad save you using humbuckers which can be really handy. We have two 6L6 power tubes and the normal preamp tube layout for Fender amps. It comes with a 12 inch Celestia Neo Cream back for improved weight, resulting in the amp being under 35 pounds. We have the silver face front and silver panel trim with silver turquoise grill cloth, which is very accurate to these late 60s amps that this amp is based around. So I'm a big fan of the cream back speakers. I actually have the G12M65s in my cabs that I run all my amps through. And the Neo one is basically that, but a little bit lighter. I'm not one who really cares about weight, so I would put my favorite speaker in there. But at the same time, I'm really not missing much with the Neo speaker, it actually sounds pretty good. I've played some Neo speakers and they're not that great, but it does sound good in this amp. I would be interested to see what it sounds like with a normal cream back in there as well though. So we're gonna check out the amp with a couple of different guitars and some different pedals. We're gonna use my Matmul S Classic for some Strat Tines, my Matmul T Classic for some Tele Tines, and my 959 Real Street ES235 with Monty's Light Output PF humbucking pickups for some humbucker tines. We're going to run it clean straight into the amp and then cranked up as well all the way to 10. But we're also going to run some drive pedals into there because I really think this is a killer pedal platform. We're going to use the Greer Amps Lightspeed for some overdrive, the 1981 Inventions DRV for some distortion, the Beatronics Octa High for some fuzz, and then the Jam Pedals Waterfall for some chorus tines as well. So that's pretty much it. The speaker's actually being recorded by a Lewitt MTP 440 dynamic microphone, which is like an SM57 with a tiny bit more bass. So let's get straight into the demo. So the Matmul S Classic straight into the amp with a tiny bit of reverb. Sounds like this.
So there we have it. That was a look at the brand new 68 Custom Pro Reverb from Fender. Like I said, this to me is kind of the perfect Fender amp because it's that perfect balance between having nice clean headroom but without being too sterile. And it means you can turn it up loud without it breaking up, say like a deluxe reverb. We've got 40 watts on there. And again, they've improved the portability by reducing the cabinet size and weight and also moving to a single channel format with a single 12 inch speaker. The Neo Greenback sounds great in this amp. Normally I'm not a massive fan of Neo speakers, but it does work well with this amp. Uh, like I said earlier in the demo, I'd be really interested to see what it sounds like with my favorite cream bat speaker in there but again i'm not really missing much with that speaker anyway of course on the front panel you've got the bright switch so you can go from normal or bright you've got the two inputs that allow you to pad save you using humbuckers which can be really handy but the volume treble middle bass reverb and speed and intensity for the tremolo it's a really killer amp and you're buying this if you want that classic fender sound and also a killer pedal platform if i was to own one vintage fender amp it would be a pro reverb because like i say it's that kind of perfect wattage range for some clean headroom and which actually 
so he stays clean when you turn it up a little bit. Of course, we tested it with lots of different pedals as well, which is exactly how I'd use it, and it really does sound great. But let me know down in the comments what you thought of the 68 Custom Pro Reverb, and if you go and pick one up for yourself. So every piece of gear I used in this video, and to record my videos, these do help support the channel out further, so I'd really appreciate if you go and check them out. If you did like this demo video at any point, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot, and that way you won't miss out on my future uploads. Other than that, go onto my channel, check out some of my playlists, I have plenty more lessons, covers, gear demos, how to sound like videos, and anything guitar related. As always, I've been Harry, and thanks for watching.